when we start a piston engine, it's only going to take maybe a maximum of 3% out of the battery, but generally about 1%. It takes very little power. We need 70% of the capacity of battery for essential power. We got to get the airplane back home after the generator system fails. Cranking performance is not a yardstick for judging the capacity of the battery. High rate performance does not give you a valid reason for replacing the battery. If you get to the point of where it won't crank, you are in trouble weeks and weeks before that time. It's not absolutely not a good way of doing it. You have to physically measure the capacity of the battery at a one hour test rate. I had a guy at Oshkosh this year. He says, you don't want to hear my story. I says, well, what's wrong? He says, well, he says, I got nine years on my battery. I'm going to run it another year. Running a battery to failure is stupid. When his battery fails, he's going to be out in a boondock someplace, mm -hmm. and then it's going to cost him twice as much. He's going to have to get another motel. He's going to have to get another rent-a-car. Then he's going to have to make arrangements to get the battery expressed in somehow. And he's going to be down for another three more days. If he would have replaced his battery on time, he could have saved a ton of money. So running a battery to failure is absolutely stupid, you know. I mean, really, there's just, I am an airworthiness nut when it comes to batteries, and we want safety. We don't want something that is going to be marginally operated. When you take a battery out of service that's got 80% capacity, sure, it's a good battery. I had a guy in Florida tell me he, he had one in for five years in a bonanza. He took it out and uh, put it in his boat. He's, he's, he wrote me a letter, actually, a handwritten letter. And he said, uh, seven years later, he says, it's still operating great in my boat. But in fact, what he did do from a safety standpoint is he replaced that battery knowing full well that he was marginal, you know. In his boat, all he's doing is cranking the engine. He's not running any essential power requirements. My thing is airworthiness. I've been preaching airworthiness forever. If I can impress upon the average owner operator how critical good batteries are to their safety, don't hand prop the airplane because you've got a dead battery and think you're going to be charging the battery in service. It doesn't work. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.